Assalamu alaikum guys in this video I'm going to show you a brief introduction about quadcopters and the way how they work the working principle and some modeling tips hopefully they will be short enough uh, but intensive well um, I'm going to show you some definition for quadcopters and uh, some features and possible applications for them well this is a typical quadcopter it's equipped with everything needed to get information about the surrounding and everything needed to make it able to fly well as you can see that it's also equipped with camera so that it broadcasts live video to the base station okay a quadcopter is actually an unmanned aerial vehicle uh, despite the emergence of some quadcopters where man has ridden them well they also have four equally spaced rotors for producing the thrust or the lifting force they are also equipped with sensors which are responsible for giving important information about the quadcopter itself, its conditions, and also about the surrounding environment around it. These sensors include the gyroscope, accelerometer, magnetometer, and some other sensors. They are typically controlled by a radio remote controller from the ground station. Some of the features that distinguish the quadcopters from their counterpart, like the normal traditional helicopters, is that quadcopters don't need mechanical linkages to vary the blade pitch angle for changing the orientation and the translation. Any orientation can be achieved by changing the speed of the rotors, the four rotors I mean. Another feature is that their design is simple and their maintenance is also simple. They can be assembled easily and the parts are widely available with affordable prices. Since there are four, uh, four rotors for the quadcopter, then the propellers are normally smaller in diameter. And that means that the, the rotors themselves do not need to have a high kinetic energy. Okay, they are also safe, and that means less danger is there. So there's less damage to to themselves and their surroundings. They are also lightweight, which is a feature that has great advantages, like well since they are light weight that means less force is needed for lifting them up and that means less power but there is another disadvantage of this light weight feature is that it, it the quadcopters are normally susceptible to winds winds might throw them away if if the controller is not that robust. Some of the applications for quadcopters they are used for inspection of the power lines they can be sent and the power lines are monitored. They are also used for security and law enforcement surveillance. Italy police has recently used them for uh, criminal eradication uh, or the reduction of uh, criminal behaviors it's great actually they are also used for military to locate an enemy and some companies have used them for their delivery services and Amazon has launched a program called Prime Air for sending their products to the customers and the UA government uh, is planning to use them for the delivery of some documents to the citizens 
So there are a few applications that are awesome for, for these quadcopters. And they have proven themselves to be effective, but they are still under research. Well, for the concept and modeling, I'm going to explain more in the next video. Thank you very much.